From reading to studying, we've all checked out books or spent time at the library, but San Antonio Central Library has more to offer than just that. The library is full of endless discovery, so much imagination. In tonight's Throwback Thursday, RJ Marquez looks back at the library's history, the unique look of that building, and its importance to the culture of San Antonio. With more than half a million volumes of resources, fiction, and history, the San Antonio Central Library is much more than just books. It's been evolving for more than a century. The first San Antonio Library opened in the early 1900s on West Market Street with funds donated by Andrew Carnegie. It was originally started in 1903 in the Carnegie Library, which is now the Briscoe Western Arts Museum. Flooding severely damaged the building in 1921. A new main library was built in 1930, and its name was officially changed to the San Antonio Public Library. It stood for nearly four decades until a new main library opened at the corner of Market and South St. Mary Streets. But it wasn't until 1995 when the city built a new six-story building on Soledad, giving the Central Library the iconic look it has today. The new Central Library has become a fixture of the San Antonio skyline. It's made an architectural statement and brought national and international acclaim. Most people, if you have not been here, you're at least familiar with the, the enchilada red uh, building. World-renowned Mexican architect Ricardo Legoreta designed the building. He wanted to allow visitors to interpret the architecture through exploration, discovery, and imagination. Part of that discovery includes the Texana and Genealogy Center on the sixth floor and can only be found at that location. We can help you work Work your way backwards through names and dates and the lineage of your family history. Not only can you learn about the history of San Antonio and your own history here at the library with the thousands of books and resources available to you, but the history is also right here on the walls. The library features various pieces of art and murals as well. Each floor is different, giving visitors the sense they are in a sculpture, learning and exploring new adventures inside the building. The architectural elements are very present and it's just a very, um, the energy and excitement of being in this building is something that I love. For The Nine, R.J. Marcus. Here's another interesting fact about the Central Library. A popular scene from the movie Selena was shot at that building. That scene shows Selena meeting with reporters in Mexico. Throwback Thursday is just one of the series that we feature here on the News at Nine. Be sure to tune in tomorrow night for a look back at the week's biggest local headlines. We'll wrap it all up in the week in 210.